Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Jamie aka Rick here bringing you another StarCraft game. This one is a ZVP as you can see on Typhon Peaks. It's uh, cross positions which is quite nice, it's a long travel distance so uh, maybe early rushes aren't as good as they uh, could be on some maps you know. Say you've got a double rack, two racks, it's not quite as effective when it's a uh, long distance like this but still we'll see what happens in this game. Um, I decide to go a roach rush, seven roach rush, this. I've been doing it a few games now and uh, it seems to work out quite well against Protoss. Uh, i go for the extractor trick here just to get that extra drone, extra few minerals at the start there. Which uh, is pretty nice. Uh, you could go for the double uh, on the uh, seven roach rush, you can do the double but I haven't actually practiced that yet, I'd probably mess it up to be honest because I'm not that good so yeah, so we're going to go 7 Roach Rush. Um, not sh too sure what the Protoss is going to do. Uh, obviously I know what he does because I've I played the game, but I'm not going to tell you that. I'm just going to see what happens as this uh, game develops. One thing I will uh, mention is I was really late on sending my Overlord. It sat there for a good couple of minutes. Well, not, not real time. Or not in game time, but probably real time. As at least like a minute and a half, I'd imagine, it sat there. So yeah, he's gone for an early scout on 9, which is pretty standard for Protoss. It's, uh, some people do it after their gate, some people do it after their pylon. It's uh, personal preference really. As if you do it after pylon, you can spot really early like cheese builds, possibly. And if you do it after gate, then you kind of get a better idea of what they're actually going to be building and stuff like that. Because gases have started to come down and more buildings have started to pop up. So normally you know fast expansions would have come up by now as a zerg I definitely would have expanded by now on 15 there you go I would have expanded then but um I haven't run for a spawning pool and gas I think the gas was a little bit late but uh for the most part it's going my bills going pretty well so far and we've got one gate cyber court which is pretty standard he's on one gas which is fine so uh, he isn't building anything out of this gateway though, which I find a little bit strange. Probably should be, just in case, you know, I'll get a few Zerglings out early, because he's seen the spawning pool go up. So I could be bringing, I could be rallying Zerglings to his base, and I probably could have killed him right now, to be honest. Because he hasn't got any units, but luckily, for him, uh, I'm not actually thinking like that. I'm just going ahead and getting my Roach Rush ready, so if I had a scouted, Possibly I would have attacked then and there, but I don't actually scout in this game. Once my roach warren's popped and I've got all the roaches out, I've already got down to here and got across to here and already seen that he's not in either of those positions. So I know exactly where to go. Just march straight across the map and uh, go and kill him. So the queen pops out, get a few lava. I think the queen was a little bit late. That lava inject should have been you know, ready as the roaches as the Roach Warren finished. So uh, the Queen was a little bit late, but that's fine. And uh, for that reason, I don't get the whole seven Roaches out as fast as you can do. And I, by now, I should have at least five, I think. Possibly, something like that. And then we're just waiting for the last two to, you know, spawn. But as you can see, the lava just popped now, and I start building the rest of the Roaches. So it's not a hugely well-refined build. For me, I'm getting there. It's getting better and better. I was really bad at it to start with. But I can do it without uh, having the build actually up on another on my other screen. So a thing here that I didn't see until I watched the replay first was he's actually blocked this gateway in. So the stalker can't actually get out at all. So he's got to kill, kill his own pylon to get this stalker out, which I thought was quite funny. I feel a bit, you know, a bit upset for him, you know, because I've got these seven roaches marching across the map, and so far he's got one stalker just sitting in his base, and he's got to take out this pylon before he can get another one. So that's obviously a bad, bad thing for him that he hasn't got any defence really. But he did start building late, as you can see, he's got a lot of minerals saved up, so he could have already had a lot of units out, and he probably should have done. So uh, he's gone free gate robo which uh, you know he's probably gone into an he would have gone into an expand after that but obviously 
he doesn't really get that far. <laughs> I'm just going to say that. Doesn't get to expand. So he gets a few shots off on my roaches before I even notice that he's got those stalkers there. But once I do notice, they get taken down so quickly. And meanwhile, he's got a pylon sitting in my natural. And I've got a drone just chilling out next to it. Not doing anything about it whatsoever, which I thought was quite funny when I saw this replay again. Uh, he spawns in a few stalkers there. And uh, pretty much easily just walks up into my base. Because I didn't notice it. But luckily, I've got four roaches that spawn out. And uh, I'll get the first shots off. So it's an easy win for me. And meanwhile, I'm taking down his cyber core and a few probes. So that's pretty much GG, to be honest not really much he could have done from there so he gives it up that's a pretty easy game I thought all round uh, well executed build from me and uh, well it wasn't superbly executed but it was well enough to secure the win as you can see I'm floating a hell of a lot of minerals so uh, I could have easily expanded which I hadn't because I got pilot it got blocked by a pylon I would have sorted that out soon enough and uh, you know strode ahead if you had have held that attack off so I think I was in quite a good position because he had to you know he couldn't get all those stalkers out he couldn't get his early units out because he blocked his gateway off and then you know he wasn't building to start with off the first gateway so it wasn't the best match from either of us but uh, my build countered his quite well